I promise. Fine goods for a bit. Sun, light your way. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life. But I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it will bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is Aloy of the Nora, member and thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. Take the ball. They'll give him a rap on the knuckles and let him go. This. This is a good day. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um. What sacrifice? They died in a massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the sun ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A Thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but... He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. 
Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a thunderjaw and a stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Having any trouble? Bring back trophies from a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. No one will doubt you belong here then. Two new thrushes in one day. Makes a hawk proud. Who else just became a thrush? Arctic. I see him rising to the top very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have Arctic give you some tips. Do you know... Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. Even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. And for that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the Sunring. I sh Please, tell me what happened that day in the Sunring. Normally, victims of the Sunring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. Just as a second knocked him to his death, her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. I must say I'm surprised by your achievements. Bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started.
good for an old remedy. 